Hey everyone, as always, Dylan, GoldPaterReviews.com. And for today, you know, after my last uh, debacle of panning a ton of material, I wanted to do something easy. So, this week I picked Cougarock.com's Bering Sea Black Sands Pater. Uh, so, <laughs> actually what I wanted to do was focus on a lot of, for the next couple reviews, I'm going to be doing some lower priced great gift idea uh pay dirt you know because you know it's one thing to buy some on a hundred dollar bag it's another thing to buy them a couple of 10 20 25 dollar bags so i'm gonna try to focus on bags under 20 bucks all the way until christmas so this is the number one my first under 20 dollar bag i will be reviewing up until christmas and this as i said is from cougarock.com i'm sure i said it wrong but that's what it is and this is their Gnome Beach Sands. It's supposed to be one plus pound of beach sands. This actually weighed out at 1.3 ounces. It cost $19.99 with free shipping. So my grand total was $19.99. It's supposed to contain black sands, garnets, and gold. It is unsearched, so there's no guaranteed gold. But they do say you will find gold and that you should, they have high returns. So, um, I will say, even though this is a coffee bag, I really like this one. It's kind of cool. Um, I'll have to split it open later and see. So, as you can, I don't know if you're able to see, but, you know, it does obviously have some plus 10 material. It's supposed to be all beach sands. And you won't be, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's, it's kind of reddish material um, from all the garnets. So, where are my classifiers? Let's just start classifying this down and see what we get. So, now this is something, actually, they used to sell this. They still sell on Amazon, but they used to carry this on Amazon, and I used to always want to get it, but then they stopped carrying this one on Amazon, and they carry their other two products, but not this one. I don't know if it's just out of stock or whatnot, so you can check Amazon, or you can go to their website. You know, a $19.99 with free shipping, you really can't beat that. Um, the over 10, there is some over 10. Yeah. And like I said, this is all supposed to be from Gnome Beach, and I'm sure most of y'all have probably seen the Bering Sea Gold Show. No. You know, if you watch any of the shows, there's that one, so... Right. Obviously not a lot in either one of these classifications. And you should always make sure if you do use screens or classifiers, always make sure to check them afterwards. Because since gold is malleable, it will sometimes stick in your pan. It doesn't happen too often, but it can happen. It'll stick in between the little holes. I actually found a piece... Um, I think the review before last, and I forgot to mention it. You know, I had to add it to my total. All right. Well, looking pretty good. All right, so for the last one, let's see. This is obviously mostly going to be, seems to be a lot of plus 30 in here, so. But we shall find out. I mean, I'm expecting this to mostly be under 30 material. Like they said, it is going to be black sands and really fine garnet, so. Not expecting much, though. And I don't know if you heard that, but that's our local stray cat, Harley. He's decided to come join me in my gold panning today. I think he's hoping I might have some food in here as well, but I don't. If I did, I'd be eating it because I'm kind of hungry right now, but all right so that is it um as you can see pretty even amount in all these um these are just bigger rocks but you know you know pretty much all what you're gonna get is going to be under 30 so a lot of fine panning so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come right back i'm gonna go pan out the plus 10 and maybe there's some gold maybe there's something that carried along with the other stuff but let's go see Well, no big surprise, nothing in the plus 10, and I also really don't expect to find anything in the minus 10 plus 20, but due diligence, I must pan it, and plus it's fun. So I'm going to go pan this out, 
and maybe I'll find a piece of gold. You know, maybe one piece. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe one piece. All right. I'll be right back. Let me go get, pan this up. Sorry, Harley's straight cat sitting there staring at my sand. I'm worried he might think it's something that's not. All right, be right back. Eh, I was wrong. Not one piece, zero pieces. So, kind of disappointing, but, you know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really expecting to find a lot in these. I'm pretty sure it's all going to be in the minus 30. But, so, maybe though, maybe I'll find a piece in the minus 20 plus 30. Maybe one little piece. Come on. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back, and I gotta go get some food for this cat, because he is eyeing this painter like it's his litter pan. So I need to preoccupy him with something else. So, be right back. Okay, I was wrong again didn't find one piece of gold I found seven now I'm sure you can see those three those three were the normal ones that you would find in that classification the minus 20 plus 30 but I also found these four little specks and obviously we're just piggybacking along with something so because they're obviously under minus 30 so not bad seven pieces of gold pretty happy it's six more than I've expected to find so what's left is all this so I'm gonna go take a few minutes and get into all this black sands and have some fun so we'll be right back but before I forget let me show you how much of this stuff is magnetized so you can see a fairly good amount of it's magnetized so um Oh, I just made a big old mess. Oh, well. All right. Good thing I'm getting ready to pan all this out. So, it does have some mag magnetized magnetite in it. And also, I want to say that even though this is beach sand and it's from them, this stuff is really, really clean so far. Now, I don't know about this. I haven't panned it yet. But so far, I mean, there's not a speck of dust on it when I was panning it. So, I don't know how they're running this material. If they're sluicing it but it is really really clean material so now let's just find out how fine the gold is so I'll be right back this time I'll be back oh man was that tough let me see if you can see this I found thousands of pieces of gold I mean it's just everywhere oh man was that rough that stuff, I mean, I will say I always liked panning uh, red sands or garnet sands because it's always just something different than just blondes and blacks. Blondes and blacks is just, you know, it's really cool. But, man, that was some tough stuff. So, I mean, I will say, you know, it would have been much worse if the stuff was dirty. So the fact that it's really, really clean pay dirt really made it, you know, a lot more fun because it was really just trying to get this real fine black sands out of this gold. And there was a lot of gold here. Um, now, we'll say I don't know how much it was, but we're going to find that out. I'll be right back with the final review and the Roy. All right. I finished weighing up, drying up, and unfortunately messing up. <laughs> I came out here and I shot this video earlier and as you can see there's no gold here and but unfortunately it's very very cold and it killed my camera and so I did this whole giant spiel went inside to download the video but that was after I took all this gold and dumped it into my main vial so then when I realized there was no video I realized I screwed the pooch so I'm back out here reshooting this video and it's even colder now so I've got a little warmer on my camera to keep it warm while I shoot this. So I will show you a picture of the gold I recovered here. Alright so let's get to the review. This is from cougarrock.com and again I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It's their one pound of gnome beach concentrates. I paid $19.99 for it. The shipping was free. Grand total, $19.99. Um, 
I recovered 0.141 grams of gold. And at today's spot of $41.41, that means I recovered $5.84 worth of gold. My ROI was 29.21% and my AROI was 23.96%. Now I will say I know those are really low numbers, but I'm going to show a picture, another picture right now, right now. That is what I saw in every single tablespoon. When I talk about in reviews a lot of times where I saw gold in every tablespoon, usually it's one or two specks. This, I mean, there's just a lot of gold in that picture. And that's every single tablespoon. The problem is it's minus 50, minus 100 gold. So you're seeing a lot of gold. It's just not weighing up to a lot. Um, and it's also really different pay dirt here. It's not blondes and black sands. It's black sands and red garnet sand, which is really red and it's really hard to pan. Um, you can even remove, which I did when I got to the final about tablespoon of pay dirt where I had nothing but a tablespoon of pay dirt and the gold. I even removed all the black sands out of it. And I still had a hard time removing the gold out of that little red sand. So it's a really difficult bag of pay dirt to do. So, you know, you got to do a little trade off. I didn't find three big nuggets. There's a lot of fine gold. So my Roy was low, but it's really challenging. So, you know, it's up to you if you want it. But all right. So let's get to my final review. For Roy, uh, it's a 2.9. A Roy is a 2.4. Fun factor was a 10. Like I said, this is really challenging and fun pay dirt. It's not often you get to see pan gnome beach sands. And they're not known for nuggets. They're known for really fine gold. So it was really fun to me. Um, so the value ended up being a 5.2. Now my overall experience was a 10. I liked it. I really had fun with this pay dirt. Pay dirt description was a 10. Again, they tell you what you're going to get. So they just kind of say you're going to get a high yield and return in your investment but you don't know what they consider high so pay dirt quantity is supposed to be a pound i got well over a pound so that's definitely a 10 pay dirt packaging now that's going to be an eight because even though i thought their packaging was really cool it's still a coffee bag so it's still going to get an eight um customer service was a 10 i emailed them a couple months before i shot this video and they were really nice i emailed them twice from two different accounts, two different times with different types of questions. So both times they were really quick and really knowledgeable. So they're definitely getting a 10. Shipping was a 10. It was really, really fast. So total score for Kurok, Kugarok.com is going to be a 7.9. So thanks a lot, everyone. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the comment button, especially. Like it and share it. And thank you all, as always, for watching. Until next time.